Hi, welcome to RMath. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability and counting principles. This video is focusing on the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle is probably one you've seen before, maybe without the um, actual title. The fundamental counting principle says if there are a bunch of um, decision points, you multiply each decision point together to get the total options. So Ellen and Karen each roll the same eight-sided die. How many different ways can the numbers appear? Well, Ellen rolls an eight-sided die. There are eight ways the numbers can appear. After that, Carol rolls an eight-sided die. If we multiply this together, there are 64 ways in which those two die can be rolled. It can be one. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, up to 1, 8, then 2, 1 to 8, 3, 1 to 8. We could make a tree, it would get big, but there or a table, but there are 64 ways in which those two die can be rolled. All right, next, Ellen and Karen each draw a card from a deck of cards. So two cards. First, Ellen, who doesn't return her card. So this is a standard deck. There are 52 cards in a standard deck of cards. So Ellen has 52 cards from which to choose. She doesn't return it. So when Karen draws her card, she only has 51 cards left from which to choose, which means 52 times 51 is 2,652 card options. Card option, yeah. Okay. What about if the card is returned? So what happens if Ellen draws a card and then puts it back? So, you know, we've totally returned the card. Well, in this case, Ellen has 52 cards, but you know what? So does Carol. So now instead of 52 times 51, we have 52 times 52. And in this situation, we have 2,704, we'll say card pair options. I probably should have put the pair word in there because we have a little bit more variety with the extra card in the deck. Not a ton more, just a little bit more. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!